we've been seeing, the Dynamo Festival certainly has a great lineup this year. Earlier in the show, we met Nude Swirl, Beer Factory, and of course, Freak of Nature. And we've got some great bands to look forward to. Suicidal Tendencies and Anthrax coming up a little bit later on tonight. And as Donington Monsters of Rock has now been officially cancelled, this festival is certainly shaping up to be our rock event of the year for Headbangers Ball. Of course, apart from uh, Metallica at Milton Keynes, which we'll be seeing in a couple of weeks' time. Right now, I'm joined by Dave from Monster Magnet, who played here a little bit earlier this afternoon. So uh, how did the festival go for you, Dave? Uh, it was like a cauldron of boiling flesh. Uh, it, it felt like um, what would be on the surface of Mars, I guess. Yeah, good. Because your shows um, have been renowned in clubs for light displays and projections and go-go dances and all that kind of thing. So how do you bring, how, do you, how can you translate your live show with those kind of things going on to a festival appearance? Well, we don't at all. What it is, it's just pretty much like a, like a hump frenzy, you know what I mean? It's like you try to get in the crowd and you try to hump it down. It's a totally different thing and you have to use the sun as your lights. You know? Do you feel a bit kind of naked up there without all those Completely props? Naked. <laughs> naked and very small, like an insect. Because when you're in New York and you're in a club or whatever and you're putting on a show, that is a, a very much putting on a show for other people to watch. But with a festival, it's far more interactive. Is that something that you really, really enjoy? Uh, yeah, because you make it your own. You know, I've only got like 40 minutes to, to spin around and make myself happy. So um, it's good to see people's faces, that's for sure. There's a lot of freaks out there, a lot of them. And do you enjoy the whole festival vibe of only having to play for 45 minutes and then being able to hang out backstage and meet other bands and stuff? Exactly, and you get to eat like a king. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about um, Super Judge, the current album, because prior to the recording of that, you spent a lot of time in Europe, away from home. Um, I was wondering, how did that influence the album? Um, I think it made us really angry because we had to stay in tiny little hotel rooms. And uh, I tend to get paranoid and like a, a bit psychotic as the thing goes on. So the songs were written um, as if I had my hands around someone's throat. And listening to them back is kind of embarrassing because they, they sound really angry and I'm really not that angry a person. But um, I get kind of get the impression that you're sort of product of the TV generation, maybe. Oh, how could you tell? <laughs> sure, TV's around and it's free, so I watch a lot of it. And what about your new guitarist? What, is, what has he contributed? Um, no, so he's completely out of his mind. I think he was born with a guitar permanently stuck um, in his fingers. And all he does is play, and we tell him, start, and he plays, stop, and he stops. He was really going for it today, wasn't he? Yeah, he's in outer space. Good. Okay, well, we're going to talk to Dave some more in just a moment, but let's have a look at this amazing live performance from Monster Magnet. And uh, I think, as Dave said, it's the most crucial barbecue of the year. Another mule! 